Thinking Beyond Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 222. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 222, June 25th, 2017 edition. And today's topic is thinking beyond sustainability, which is important because the idea of having a sustainable planet with people that are still unhappy really doesn't make a lot of sense. So our idea with One Community, everything you see in the background here, which starts with our infrastructure models, but then it progresses on to high good education models, uh, high good food models, as well as high good economic models, and true earth stewardship models, fulfilled living models, is all about taking the concept of sustainability and evolving it to include emotional sustainability. And this is what we mean when we say thinking beyond sustainability. The idea of creating teacher demonstration hubs that only cater to sustainable needs of food, energy, and housing doesn't make a lot of sense if it doesn't create happier, healthier, more whole people. And so, as I've said in many videos before this, our idea is to make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and most importantly, attractive enough that the idea will spread its own. And this is what thinking beyond sustainability is all about, is making sustainability more attractive. There's no reason with the technology and innovation that exists in today's world that we can't create a living environment that totally and completely meets the needs of everybody that resides there. And when I say totally and completely meets the needs, I mean that is food self-sufficient, energy self-sufficient, housing self-sufficient, and adding in the highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, highest good education models, and truer stewardship provides enough revenue for everybody living there that they don't have to work traditional jobs and ultimately leads to a world where nobody has to work traditional jobs because everything's being automated because technology is progressing so fast that those those menial labor jobs are disappearing and for good reason and for the good of humanity those things can be replaced by automation and as they do and as people need something else to do we have the ability to repurpose our time and our energy into creating a better world for everybody and that's where the highest good education models, the highest good economic models, and the true stewardship models come in to play because those models are designed to give back to the world, to give back to the community, and to evolve education, to evolve economics, to evolve fulfilled living models, and share those models as open source and free shared models, just like the food, energy, and housing, so that we can demonstrate a better way of people, a better way of living for people that they can replicate, that they can evolve and grow, just as they can evolve and grow, and grow all of the infrastructure and open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for the tangible ideas that most people are already familiar with. Thinking beyond sustainability means creating a world that works for everybody and also simultaneously addresses the foundations of war and poverty and social injustice and all of these things as well. And this is what our, our project and program is all about. We believe that it's possible within our lifetime to create a world that works for everybody if we can create a self-replicating model. And for it to become self-replicating, it has to be better than just sustainable food, energy, and housing. It has to provide a better way of living for people. It has to provide an experience of life that is better than the way that most people are living right now so that they will gravitate towards the idea. And we believe that it has to be open source and free shared so that other people can replicate it because there's already people living in sustainable communities that no longer have to work traditional jobs have more free time that are spending all their time with friends and family and like-minded individuals that are doing good things for the world but it's not open source it's not free shared it's not it is replicable but there's no clear path to replication there's no clear path for identifying exactly how much it would cost how many hours it would take or and there's no clear way for people to go and experience that and say hey if i like this i would like to take it and replicate it for myself and so one community is designed to be that everything that we're creating that you see happening here in the background is 
the foundations of one community as a tangible place that people will be able to come and visit, experience, and if they like what they see, replicate it. And part of that is the fulfilled living models. Part of that is the education models. Part of that is the highest good economic models, which are for-profit and non-profit business models and a resource-based economy model built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition that frees people from traditional jobs and a complete community model that frees people from traditional jobs where the number one commodity becomes the happiness of the lifestyle and the demonstration of the lifestyle of everybody that's living there. It's kind of like the idea of if you were to visit Club Med or go on a cruise where everything that you want to do, this wealth and this richness of activities and social activities and things to do is surrounding you and you had a way to create that vacation experience as a lifestyle and everybody living within that environment was living their lifestyle and you were just invited to participate instead of everybody in the environment serving you. Instead, it's a welcoming environment where you invited to come and participate, experience it as a guest living in somebody's home, only the home is a complete community model of self-sufficiency, sustainability, and fulfilled living. That is a demonstration of thinking far beyond just sustainability. This is what one community is creating. This is what you're invited to participate in. And now what I'd like to do is with that in mind, share with you one week of our team's progress and accomplishments in all the different areas that you've seen playing in the background here. So let's jump into that. Here's one week of our all volunteer, nonprofit, non governmental organization work. One week, here it is. Let's jump into the updates. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, updated the Tropical Atrium Open Source Hub with new sections describing all the main features. We also created 16 new Tropical Atrium breakout pages for sharing all the different open source components. Additionally, we created this new Tropical Atrium header and Facebook image. And the core team continued building the SketchUp 3D version of the Net Zero bathroom for the Earthbag Village. This last week, we added in the second level of barrels along with the curved wall and the platforms for support. We also created the opening in the wall and set up the entry door to have access to the water collection area. In addition to this, the core team created and added these new feature images to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 page. We're seeking an interior designer to help us finish the missing images. Ashwin Patil, web developer, also finished a fourth round of revisions for the Earthbag Village Pod 1 search engine, as shown here. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 19th week helping with the Net Zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was load calculations and related tutorial text and imagery. Christian Ojeda, mechatronic engineer, completed his 17th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was updates to the water storage layouts shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 74 of Dean's work. This week's focus was building table and chair details needed for the central dining and presentation space renders. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 46th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was building and adding pergolas to the layout as shown here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 28th week of work focusing on more development of zone 8 and pergolas needed for around the labyrinth as shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the DIY pipe furniture tutorial page. This week's focus included creating and adding new imagery and text to the pipe table section and reorganizing the different furniture sections. You can see some of this work here. 
Hayes Lay, structural engineer, also continued the work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was more wind load calculations and roof design updates, some of which you can see here. Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, also finished his final round of content edition and edits for the wind power tutorials developing behind the scenes. You can see some pictures of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team explored the design needs and costs for adding different floor types to the transition kitchen. Here's an image created for this purpose. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Humility lesson plan and the Form in Our Outer World lesson plan. This brings us to 30 of 52 finished, which is approximately 58% completion. We also created a new graphic combining and showing the diversity of projection options for the Ultimate Classroom Projection Dome, as shown here. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, added authentication to all internal routes to eliminate bypass options for the developing Highest Good Network software. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. Well, there you have it. That's one week of updates and this is how we're thinking beyond sustainability. If this sounds interesting to you, if it sounds exciting to you, if you'd like to participate, visit our helping page and see the different ways to get involved in our project. You can also follow us on social media or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the different social media networks uh, to make it as easy as possible for you to get the information that you like, follow our project, to share our information, and help us get the information out. And of course, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and free shared information, everything that we're creating, everything we just talked about, everything we've done, you can visit our written blog or just visit our website. Most importantly, thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your emails. Thank you for the likes. They make a big difference. Thank you for sharing your information. Thank you for the donations that we get. We are 100% unpaid staff. We're an all-volunteer organization. So none of the donations that we get go to me or anybody else in our staff. They all go to cover our global organization's operational expenses as far as web expenses and things associated with that. So they really make a difference. And of course, you know, thanks for following our project. Thanks for watching to the end. And as I like to say, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.